so Emacs uh, finally released the uh, retail version of the RS2205 S2300 motor. Uh, I believe also the 2600 has already been released. Uh, so I I previously tested the uh, the prototype version. Uh, with the final version, they they made a few changes. Uh, small changes with that actually do make a difference uh, on the prototype I tested before which uh, performed amazingly uh, amazingly well uh, it was making 2206 type of power uh, they were using 0.2 millimeter the standard 0.2 millimeter uh, stator laminations on the new motor, uh, the final version, they went to thinner laminations. Uh, I believe it's 0.15. I believe this is 0.2 millimeter. So uh, that that actually did make a difference. I didn't think they were gonna, you know, it was impossible to get any more power, but uh, they managed to to pull a few more, a few more grams. Uh, you'll see it on the uh, on the results uh, compared to my previous test. So this one, this one's uh, quite a quite a powerful motor, uh, and it's uh, uh, it's fairly light too. I think the weight went up uh, just a little bit, not a lot. Uh, so it's 29.5. Uh, it's half a gram or so. It went up. Uh, I'm not sure, but it's still pretty light. Uh, so Emacs did away with uh, motor uh, direction, uh, so there's no more CW and CCW. So it's going to be standard threads for all the motors, which I think is an excellent idea. Uh, just, you know, all you need is the one lock nut for all your motors. You don't have to have uh, different types of lock nuts. Uh, lock nuts work just fine, you know, if you tighten them well enough. Uh, it's hard to get them loose. Uh, if you if you do hit something sometimes with the prop, it it may loosen the prop. But uh, it, you know, it, it it's not a big issue. So I prefer to have just standard lock nuts. Uh, tests uh, are on the next section. So check them out.
Okay, so here's the results uh, of the test. Uh, on this side we have the the final version with the 0.15 millimeter laminations and this was the prototype version. So it's kind of interesting to see how the uh, the change to the thinner stator laminations uh, it, it's a uh, giving more power to the motor uh, uh, pretty much across the board except except for the this first prop the 4045 which is probably uh, just l limited by the prop itself uh, as far as throws goes so this uh, on these other props we can see the final version is definitely uh, making more thrust um, on the Genfan 5045 you can see it's uh, roughly around uh, 40 more grams and the th on the 5040 by 3 prop we're looking at about uh, about 30 more grams of thrust on the larger props we're seeing uh, let's see, ab about 20 to 25 grams more, uh, about 30 to 40 here on the 6045. So, so pretty much across <coughs> across all the tests, we're seeing uh, a lot more, you know, uh, a, a good amount more of of thrust. So, so that's. Uh, I thought that was interesting, you know, uh, comparing the the two versions, uh, pre-production and uh, and the final version. Uh, the pre-production version test, uh, it, it's it's on the channel. It's uh, it was the back in October or so. It's when I tested it, so you can always check that out and download the uh, Excel. I'll also link the the f the first uh, excel results here on this on the video description too so check that out uh, it's quite interesting all right uh hope uh, this data is useful so thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next uh, video